Hi guys, May 27, 2018. It's official. Amazon is in the surveillance business. Launched in 2016, updated last year. Their recognition, recognition with a K, not a C. I will link below to everything. You can find out all about recognition on Amazon itself. Hell, you can find out about the person tracking. Recognition, powered by artificial intelligence, can identify, track, analyze, recognize in real time up to 100 people in a single image. It can scan information against databases simply by taking a shot of your face and scanning that information against databases. Law enforcement, medical, mental health, financial, all government agencies, fusion centers, Department of Homeland Security. It can scan your face into those databases and get all the information that they want to collect on you. They market recognition to law enforcement. They can identify people in videos. You post a video on the internet, they can identify you, and then they can follow you almost instantly. And apparently it was used at the royal wedding to identify celebrities. The first customer Washington County, Portland, Oregon, or Orlando, Florida, using recognition. It didn't take long before law enforcement agencies were using it every day. This is the technocratic enslavement grid, very dangerous. And if anybody didn't believe that Amazon was part of the deep state, if they don't believe it now, then they're lost. You have so many Americans. I don't care. They can follow me. They'll just be bored. I don't care about my privacy. Privacy goes hand in hand with freedom. When we lose our privacy, we are a police state, surveillance state. Everybody has something they are wanting to hide. You can't hide anymore. This should be very worrying to everybody, and everybody needs to stop supporting Amazon by going to their website and purchasing products and books and now food. Since the start, Amazon has been in bed with government. Every purchase, every book, every product that you have bought from Amazon, it's in the database. I, I don't know how to get through to people that this is incredibly dangerous. Listen to just a few minutes and I actually have to find the, here it is, the video. Listen to a general manager. No, that's the wrong one, sorry. Uh, how about views? Will it bring me to YouTube? Yes. Okay. I want you to listen to just a few minutes of this general manager of Amazon recognition. This is incredibly, exceedingly dangerous. The next, of course, common use case, as you could uh, expect, is uh, public safety. It's about recognizing people. It's about tracking people. And then it's about doing this in real time so that the law enforcement officers, the agents, the, uh, the officers can be then alerted in real time to events that are happening, that, hey, somebody has fallen. 
right? If you're monitoring a home, knowing that, you know, I have parents at home, my dad and my mom is there. I do have a camera hooked there, which is connected to retention video. And I want to know if in the living space or in their walking space, if they fall, because it's important for me to know. Um, so that's what we are seeing with public safety. Uh, again, if you look at this use case, uh, basically this is a immediate response use case where there are cameras. City of Orlando is a launch partner of ours. They're, it's a smart city. They have cameras all over the city. Uh, the authorized cameras are then streaming the data to Kinesis Video Stream. We are a subscriber to the stream. We analyze the video in real time search against the collection of faces that they have. These could be their mayor. They want to know if the mayor of the city is in a place. They want to know if persons of interest they want to track. As we find things, we send the responses to stream. That could then be used to create a SNS notification and send to Pager or a law enforcement agent. Or a law enforcement agent. Did you hear that he is monitoring his parents in their home? Surveillance cameras. Do not think that those surveillance cameras don't have back doors to uh, recognition. They can see you in your home. Orlando, all of you walking around your smart city. All of the cameras, if they want to track you, they got you. Why do you think this country has been littered with cameras all over the place? Because we were, we were creating and implementing and building the structure for this technocratic enslavement grid. This is 1984 uh, on steroids oh, plus two. It's This is very dangerous. So, yeah, it's upsetting to hear so many Americans say, I don't care. I don't care. Well, they're not caring affects us all. And when you think about the implications of this, the ramifications to innocent people, you have a cop in your area. Um, this is just an example that came to my head a sheriff, a deputy sheriff, and they have the capability of surveilling anybody, spying on anybody. You guys, you happen to be dating the girl, the ex-girlfriend of that cop. That cop doesn't like that. So that cop begins to use this recognition 24-7 watching you everywhere, spying on you, even in your home, if you have a surveillance camera. You go to a stripper's club, but you haven't told your girlfriend. But that cop now knows, and he tells your girlfriend. There is no privacy anymore. So, if they want to use you, if they want to bring you down, Amazon, any video that you post on the internet, if I post a YouTube video showing my face, but they have my face already, so it doesn't matter, and I am going against the official narrative, or I am saying something about Jeff Bezos that he doesn't like, they can begin to track me 24-7. This, when the manifestations of the implications begin to make themselves visible and people realize what this is really all about, this will instill a fear Kind of like 1984. And if you haven't read 1984, I suggest you read it. Don't purchase the book from Amazon. Where everybody will be 24-7. And it will not be a choice 
it will be forced upon you to behave accordingly. Things that you may want to do, purchases that you might want to, um, you know, products that you might want to purchase, suddenly you'll realize I can't do that. I can't do that. That could be used against me. I can't say anything against government because they'll start tracking me. And we all know how scared Americans are. No, we're not brave and courageous. So I, yeah, this is, this is the deep state. And if you can't see it, now you'll never see it um, and look Amazon 5.6 million in 2017 they paid no federal taxes Jeff Bezos buys the Washington Post and look at how mainstream media frames it yes Bezos he he bought the Washington Post because it was well situated to be a powerful government watchdog he is government He's in bed with government. He's working for government. He bought the Washington Post to protect government, to protect the deep state. Details about the CIA's deal with Amazon, a no-bid contract that goes to Amazon, $600 million for their cloud computing to secretly store all of the Pentagon and CIA's um, information. And then you get to see these Washington Post articles. Contract award spurs concerns Amazon might have inside track to big cloud deal. Really? Understand. Journalists working at the Washington Post, owned by Jeff Bezos, Mr. Amazon, he okays these articles. He wants people to believe that the journalists at the Washington Post are the watchdog watching Jeff Bezos, Amazon, and our government. Isn't that swell? So it gets people to believe that the Washington Post somehow does independent reporting? No. Jeff Bezos okays these articles because he wants to maintain that delusion in Americans' minds. So does it do anything? Concerns about Amazon being in bed with our CIA and Pentagon? Big, big concerns. What did that article do? Nothing. Amazon, the lone front runner for a $10 billion Pentagon cloud contract. Hey, first it was $600 million, now it's $10 billion. March 2018. So these concerns, just like the Washington Post, that will write these articles about these concerns, but nothing comes of it. We've got our Congress on it. Yay! Hey, you know, they just held a hearing, and they grilled Mark Zuckerberg. Are you spying on Americans? No. Oh, no, no. I didn't know that was happening. No, no. Nothing comes of congressional hearings ever. So now, congressional Democrats demand answers about Amazon's facial recognition technology. It's going to go nowhere again. Because they're all in bed with the reshaping of this country into a police state, surveillance state, a technocratic enslavement state. So, when you also, <laughs> it's incredible, this uh, Alexa recording everything, if you got an Alexa, if you got an Echo Dot, I guess that's Google's, you got it in your home, it's recording everything that you say. And oops, sorry, Alexa sent this recorded conversation to a woman's uh someone on the woman's contact list 
How did that happen? It happens because they're telling you what they're doing. They're letting you know. We're spying on you. And this is what can be done. We can record a conversation in your home. Hey, you're talking badly about your mother-in-law. We could send that to your mother-in-law. And a friend of mine in Houston, a victim of the manufactured Hurricane Harvey, she had to buy all new appliances. They're all smart appliances. They, too, are sp spying on you. But Best Buy, where she bought the appliances, they were giving away free, I don't know, Alexas or Echo Dots or an equivalent. And everybody was really excited to get a free Alexa Echo Dot to put in their home. When you are getting offers to you know, take home a product that's free, they used to give away smartphones. My bank in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, open up a checking account and you can receive a free smartphone. Nothing is free. You'll always pay the price. So they want these gadgets in everybody's home. It's just yet another gadget to record everything that you're saying. And it can be used against you. Very dangerous what is manifesting here. But this technocratic enslavement grid, my God, it just rolls on. The structure of it becomes more and more intense. And this grid embedding, embedding all of us, or it embeds itself into every aspect of our life. You heard this guy talk about the smart city, Orlando. Smart cities, really dumb. because you will you will have no freedom whatsoever and those cameras and those appliances and these echo dots and alexas they're all talking to one another this is the database to control Every person, every person on the planet, every person in a smart city, every aspect of your life, you should be concerned about your privacy. Because when you lose it, and when you're tracked 24-7, you lose your freedom. All links are below.